um, you already touched on um, a major part of how it was traveling during segregation and everything, but um, we'll skip that part. Uh, who were some of the people that you admired early on in your singing career? Um, Chicago was the hub, pretty much the home of gospel music. Who were some of the people that you admired? I admired uh, James Cleaver. Mm -hmm. I really told her, I might, they might not know, Leslie Bush, who was a musician for Craig in Detroit. Risa Franklin, before she went there, her father and Miss Sammy Bryant and all would come to Chicago and sing. Risa, I really admired her. And Della Reese. See, they were singing gospel during that time, uh, and I really admired them. And they was my source of inspiration, I think, what really kept me going. And I have to say, he was a great preacher. But he didn't do that much singing. That was my pastor, Reverend Joseph Well. He he told me something that once that a Rolling Stone gather no more, because that time I was trying to stay home and go out there and sing. And he said, I said, What do you mean? He said, One day you'll find out. Well, I said, He never did tell me, but I find out. So one thing I can truthfully say is, I mind. I think every Jesse. I still am my Jesse, it, uh, uh, Gladys, I just, all those, I can't, it's just too numerous to say, because the, the gays, they're always my friends, and today we still are, you know, so I can't just pinpoint who, but, but Roberta Martin, Roberta Martin, to me, I have to say that, and as of today, uh, that's Albertina, Jesse, my cousin. <laughs> so it's still the same with me. I'm only speaking for me, I don't know. but they love me too. But they are the one that uh, I just admired. And Mahalia Jackson, you know, it's just too numerous to really, <laughs> if I couldn't go all the way back to take Charles Fairchild, mm -hmm. Marvin Yancey, all these people, we just was out there together. Mm -hmm. You know, Romance Watson, he still lived. Archer Dennis, you know, they, like I said, they're too numerous to tell because that's the way that our fellowship was. And it's still, as of today, about a week before Archer Dennis passed, I was in Chicago and I heard him preach that at his last sermon that I heard. He, two weeks later, Archer had gone to be with the Lord. So, you know, it's good to say you can't just pinpoint nobody because when you live the life as such, and they still respect you. That's what really matters with me as of today. Those that are still living, just like not so long ago, I was talking to Gladys Beeman. We had a little joke. And she said, ain't nobody living now with me and you and, and, and Lucy with the trio. And we laughed about it. Now, you know, like I said, I still talking to you and they, they still keep coming. You know, our people don't know about it, know nothing about it. Like Brother Scott, you know, mm -hmm. it's just people, people don't know. And so, and I lived my life with them until we just enjoyed each other. And today, this is what I pray, that all of the new singers would just kind of come together what, so they would never. It's not about what you're making. It's not about how God has got you to sing. But it is how people can remember you. Because if they can't remember nothing you do, then to me, your life is you know, you just waste this to me. I don't have to be right, but Lord, please forgive me if I'm wrong. But I think they should reach out more to people than they, the gay sisters. See, as I tell you, as I keep talking to you, mm -hmm. Doris Sykes, mm -hmm. you know, Ludella Evans, they, they just keep coming. Lucius Hall, it's too numerous. <laughs> Macy O. Wood, mm -hmm. you know, all those people, we're friends. And when we see each other, uh, it's, it's no fun is when we embrace each other. So that's what I really like about it. And like I say, it's, it's, it, they still out there. And I still love them. Dorothy Love Coates, he's like, yeah. I still got me. Because mm -hmm. we trap Mildred and all of them. The Blind Boys. <laughs> Sam Cook. Mm -hmm. Sam was a jewel when we was out there traveling. The Harmonizing Four. You know, Nightingale. I just saw Jojo, little Jojo. You know, we were still out there. 
But it's just, it's just, it's just that. Mm -hmm. I can't, can't point just one. And on somebody to me right now, a lot of people, it, it's Jesse, because Jesse has not changed. Mm -hmm. Jesse, we don't. Sometimes we don't talk for six months, but that's it. So I hope I've given you some of them, but you know, I love all of them. Mm -hmm. And all of them has played important. Cleopha Robinson, so as I'm still talking, God just, like he's just putting them in, in my spirit. Because these are the people that I work with way, way, way back. And a lot of them have gone to glory. A lot of them are still among. J. Rollin Bradley, I learned that he was in a home. Uh, he was one of the greatest baritone singers that I had ever heard. Uh, there's uh, Donna Vale. You see, so I see, like I say. <laughs>